So what is ATP? What makes it usable cell energy? ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is going to energize different events that the cell can do to perform work by transferring a phosphate. So here I have ATP results from cellular respiration. And once a phosphate has been transferred, so here I can see a phosphate has left ATP. It's no longer adenosine triphosphate, tri for three. It's now adenosine diphosphate, di for two. There's that extra phosphate that got transferred somewhere. Maybe it went to another molecule, maybe it went to a protein in order for that guy to do work. It's the phosphate transfer part of that process that energizes work in the cell. We need cellular respiration to then convert ADP into usable ATP energy. So once again, ATP energizes other molecules in the cells by actually transferring a phosphate group to those molecules. Let me give you some examples. I'm just going to go over the first one here. There are many different examples in the cell and how it uses ATP to do work. Let's actually look at a motor protein. So this is actually a muscle fiber contracting. I'm gonna go over this during the muscular system. But I have a motor protein. There's that red guy right here. That's a motor protein, and it actually wants to contract the muscle, but it needs ATP in order for contraction to occur. Really, movement is occurring, and it's tons of these guys that's creating that movement in order for the muscle to contract. So in order for that guy to move, that requires energy energy in the form of ATP. Here comes that guy. He's going to come over, boom, give a phosphate to that motor protein. That motor protein then is going to create a movement that's going to end up moving that muscle fiber. It's a very, very slight process, but again, many of these motor proteins overall and many different ATP, millions of them, in order to contract an entire muscle. This is a Different example, this is actually a transport protein. It's doing what the name says. It's transporting a vesicle. It's walking along that cytoskeleton in the cell. And look at that guy. He's performing a lot of work. He's moving along the cytoskeleton, trying to get that vesicle to where it wants to go to in the cell. That requires a lot of energy in the form of ATP.